Yeah. No autographs, please. <laughs> okay. And uh, um, either where we are cooking, the space is very small, the ventilation is not good. <laughs> Kitchen. It's a new registration. Uh, uh, it gives us a food for thought on how big it is. Now, uh, for us now to be able to address malnutrition, we have programs that we implemented as a region, and though some of them are adapted as a country, um, in 2012 we started a program of called NATS, which is Nutritional Assessment, Counseling and Support to Mothers and Babies with uh, Malnutrition. When we started, we had only 10 facilities out of 14, and currently we are standing at 100% coverage when it comes <coughs> to this service in the region, which is also becoming, which became one of the problems that we are struggling with. You can see obesity is topping the list of the types of malnutrition which we are dealing with in the region, and um, this is mainly linked to malpractice in the feeding to fight the consequences of the drought. Uh, the Brazilian government gave the Namibian government 100, uh, 100,000 American dollars in order to this relief. It was done through the World Food Program. And when we spoke to them, they suggested we should not just give to whatever initiative because that would be too little for everything. So they suggested that we should uh, direct it to buy ready-to-use supplementary food, the rest for children from six to 59 months old. For mineral water, and they have very good material there. And once they are over, we just throw them away. Wouldn't they be interesting yeah. to to have with small holes oh, on yeah. it? Yeah. Government has an outpatient program, while inpatient we have a big number of patients in 